Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have m plus n equals to 6 and m multiplied by n equals to 6. So we solve this problem for the values of m and n. The very first step we are going to do is here first we call this as equation number 1 and we call this as equation number 2. So now first we focus on equation number 1 and our equation number 1 implies that here we move this n to the right hand side and we obtain m equals to 6 minus n and we call this as equation number 3. So now uh, here we use this equation number 3 in equation number 2 so that our equation number 2 implies that here we have m times of n and we have the value of m is 6 minus n we substitute this value of m uh, in this equation and we get 6 minus n times of n equals to 6. So now in the next step we need some simplification. Uh, so first we multiply this n on both of these terms and we obtain 6n minus n squared equals to 6. So here we rearrange the terms and we write this equation in standard quadratic form so that we move these two terms to the right hand side so here you see that we have negative n square so when we move in the right hand side it will become plus n square and this is positive it will becomes minus 6n and this is plus 6 equals to 0 so now this equation will become a quadratic in standard form so here we use the quadratic formula in order to solve uh, this quadratic equation. So here first we write the coefficients of this equation and the coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to minus 6 and c equals to plus 6. And you know that a quadratic formula will be written as n equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So now we substitute the values of a, b and c in this formula and we get our n equals to minus times of b and our b is minus 6 plus minus square root of b square. So our b is minus 6 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 6 and this whole divided by 2 times of a is 1. So now in the next step uh, you see here uh, we need simplification so we have minus times of minus uh, becomes plus 6 and plus minus square root of minus 6 square and we know that minus 6 square equals to plus 36 and 4 times of 6 equals to minus 24 and this whole divided by 2. So now in the next step uh, we write this equation as 6 plus minus 36 minus 24 uh, equals to 12 because uh, 24 plus 12 equals to 36. So we, we get here this 12 divided by 2. So now in the next step uh, here we need more simplifications. And we write this equation as n equals to 6 plus minus. We write this 12 as 4 times of 3 and this whole divided by 2. So you know that the square root of 4 equals to 2 and we write it as 6 plus minus 2 times of square root of 3 divided by 2. So here we separate the fraction and we write it as n equals to 6 over 2 plus minus 2 into square root of 3 over 2. <clears throat> so here we get n equals to 3 plus minus square root of 3. So these are the two values of n. <clears throat> so now uh, for, uh, corresponding to these two values of n, uh, we will easily find the values of n. So here uh, we uh, write the two values of n and we call the first value of n is n1. 
सो आवर एन वन इज इक्वल टू थ्री प्लस स्केयर रूट ऑफ थ्री एंड द सेकेंड वैल्यू इज कॉल्ड एन टू एंड इट इज थ्री माइनस स्केयर रूट ऑफ थ्री सो कॉरिस्पॉन्डिंग टू वैल्यूज ऑफ एन वन एंड एन टू वी गेट द वैल्यूज ऑफ एम वन एंड एम टू सो फ्रॉम इक्वेन नंबर थ्री वी हैव so equation number 3 implies that m equals to 6 minus n so we copy down this equation here and we get m equals to m equals to 6 minus n so here if we first substitute n1 here and we get 6 minus n1 is 3 plus square root of 3 so corresponding to the value of n1 we get this value is m1 so our m1 equals to 6 minus 3 minus square root of 3 here we multiply this negative sign on both of these terms so we get this one and now 6 minus 3 equals to plus 3 minus square root of 3 so this is the value of m1 corresponding to the value of this n1 so now we move toward the second value it is n2 and now we again implies our equation number 3 so our equation number 3 is m equals to 6 minus n so here we substitute the value of n2 and we get 6 minus n and we have n is 3 minus square root of 3 so here we need some simplification and we multiply this negative sign on both of these terms and we get 6 minus 3 plus square root of 3 so we named this root as m2 and we have 6 minus 3 is 3 plus square root of 3 so this is the value of m2 corresponding to the value of this n2 so finally we have two solutions of this problem so our first solution is m1 and its corresponding value n1 so our m1 is 3 minus square root of 3 and our n1 is 3 plus square root of 3 and similarly the second solution is m2 n2 so our m2 is 3 plus square root of 3 and n2 is 3 minus square root of 3 so these are the two solutions of the given question and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.